Hi, I'm Michelle Beaumont with MichelleFitness.com and Body Mind Fitness Solutions. I'm demonstrating how to breathe for everyday living to reduce stress and anxiety and to blend with your yoga practice. I'm going to begin with basic breathing techniques. The best thing to do is find a way to sit that's comfortable for you. You can choose to use what's called a yoga block and place it underneath your buttocks. Sit right down and bring your knees forward if your flexibility will allow. Your palms can be any place that you feel comfortable. The most important thing is not to feel rigid. So in this position your palms can be here or here in front or in what's called namaste, the prayer position at either the third eye, which is between your eyebrows, or at your heart center. You also have the option to sit in an Indian style position. This is a beginner position for lotus, which requires both legs to come up. If you do not feel comfortable in this position, which does take time since it is more advanced, you can place one leg up and sit in what's called half lotus. So you choose which position you feel most comfortable in. Your arms in the lotus position is either hands out, palms open in the receiving position, or you can touch what we call closing the circle of energy, the thumb and the first finger. You do want to make sure that your spine is erect, that you feel that your back is against a wall, your rib cage is not hyperextended but pulled in. Your belly is tight. You're lifting the lower part of your navel right above your pelvic area and pulling it up tight. There's a lifting action taking place. You can also come into your namaste or prayer position in this position as well or here. So to begin your breathing technique, you'll place both hands, just start with hands on your belly and close your eyes and begin to just listen. Part of the practice is becoming more mindful of the senses, your sense of sight, hearing, smell, taste. So let's just tune in by placing the hands on the belly and begin to breathe deeply. It's the opposite of what you're used to. You're going to inhale and the belly will rise and exhale and the belly will contract inward and the breath will move down the pelvis. Just focusing on the movement of the belly only right now. Inhale and exhale. And you'll continue that for several breaths. Then you'll naturally move upward, placing the fingertips along the rib cage. I like to gently place my thumb and first finger right here with my elbows up. Barely any pressure there so that you can feel the expansion of the rib cage. You'll inhale, the rib cage will expand. The belly rises and as you exhale, everything contracts inward towards the spine and down through the pelvis. And again, you'll continue that area for several breaths. The third part of the breath is placing the hands along the chest area. You'll inhale, the belly will rise, the rib cage will expand and all the breath will move into the chest. As it floats there, hold it for a pause and then exhale through the back of the throat and down. The sound that you hear in the back of the throat is called the ujjayi breath. So as you inhale again into the chest, I want you to really hear the sound. It's like a slight snoring sound or the sound of the ocean. And as you exhale, imagine the sound. And as you continue that breathing, once you feel you have all three parts, You'll go into your receiving position or your namaste and you'll continue to breathe, tuning into the senses, listening carefully to the sound of your breath. The idea is to slow the mind down. Naturally when the mind becomes still, it becomes chaotic and all the thoughts throughout your day and things you need to do begin to become more transparent. That's normal. If your breath feels restricted while you're doing this, just go with the natural edge of the breath. As you inhale, work with it, not against it. Find where the breath wants to be and it'll naturally begin to open. Breathing should not be forced. 
So as you inhale into the throat, you'll exhale. And you just continue to find your sense of inner peace, just breathing for five minutes or 10, whatever works for you, whatever you think you need in that day. Start simple, even if it's just one or two minutes of focused breathing. The exercise involves really bringing your mind to your third eye, which is right at the center of your brow, and also the tongue at the roof of your mouth. And remember to keep pulling your thoughts and energy inward for the most effective practice.